Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Lucas. Today I'm going to be doing the three market challenge. If you don't know what the three market challenge is, uh, you can go see the video that I made about a month ago on the three market challenge, and I did it and I showed the rules. So here I'm picking my three markers. I got chrome orange, uh, pure pink, and milky white, and I really really like those colors. Uh, they actually worked really well with each other, and I like them. Here I'm showing the colors, and yeah. These markers were actually kind of hard to work with. I thought they would be like, oh, super easy three marker challenge. Blending is okay with me, I can do this, but it actually turned out pretty hard and took a really long time to make, so yeah. Here I'm erasing because I, you have to draw a picture first and then color it so you have no idea what like if the colors go with the specific thing you can't draw it and yeah so i'm coloring the the face with the milky white thank god i had um a skin color to use and this skin color is a, a very light skin color and I use it on most skins that I have I'm drawing this drawing was a person with really big hair and he has a top hat and there's stars around him and he's not just any person he's a crazy person and at the end of the video once I bring it up so you guys can see he is very crazy looking um, on this three marker challenge, I allow myself to use the um, Copic Colorless Blender, uh, which is a marker, but it's not a color, so you can still use it. I use the j Jelly Roll, and I use a fine liner. So. Um, there was a lot of blending that I had to do in this drawing. It wasn't just, oh, put down some marker ink markers and then you're done. You had to do a lot of blending so it can look decent. I actually really like the end result of this and it looks really good, really, really, really good. So, um, I, I wanted to, um, I, I, in the first place, I want. I knew I wanted to um, make the hair, the big hair, tie dye because it was like the main spot that you can see, and I wanted to make it look nice. So I actually blended the most in the hair. I I also blended in the face because the cheeks. The I I thought like this peach would um not the peach. I thought this pink would be a nice pink, uh for like on the skin. But it was like a really, really, um, a pink that like would pop out through the, um, the color. So I said, okay, I'm gonna have to blend this a lot. So I put it down and then I blended it, blended it, blended it. And yeah. yeah. So I decided to do the hair pink, like most of it pink. And then I, I'll do the, um, around the hair, um, the skin color, and then I'll put some orange in some spots. The orange really didn't go with anything that I liked, except the stars and the shirt. I put it in the face a little bit, and I also put it in the hair, but just like very, very tiny, you can't see it. I didn't want it to um, really pop out the orange because it it's not, a really nice color in in this drawing if I did another drawing it would look nice in it sorry I can upload for so long I um, I was at vacation and it was we got stuck there so basically sorry The shirt, I didn't know really what to do with it. I just said, okay, I'll just put a pink color and go like, that'll be it. But then I said, let me blend it in. And so I put 
orange. I put all the colors inside the shirt so I can look nice. And then I I put um, the jelly roll, the white jelly roll. And then I put that, I, I wanted it to look like a knitted sweater or a poncho. And it did look like a knitted sweater or poncho, but it didn't look super knitted like I wanted it to be. But it was still really good. As you can see, I allowed myself to use a fine liner, so I'm doing it right now. I didn't want to use the black Copic because that is still a color, and I didn't want it to go there, so I just used the fine liner. It would look nice anyway, so yeah. This drawing um, was really, really good drawing, and I thought that oh man this is really cool and I should keep on doing putting like a lot of effort into my drawings so that's what I did I put colorless blender around the things because I figured out that the colorless blender if you put it around it'll make the black of the line like the fine liner make it makes it pop out and that look really 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 nice on the paper I put a lot around the stars because I wanted the stars to pop out as well. I thought the stars would be had like his little pet, little cuckoo guys pets, the crazy guys pets. And yeah, so I'm putting my markers back and thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you like this episode. Comment down below of what I should do next and subscribe if you already haven't. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you all later.